All right, guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix a hood that was not fixed properly. All right, guys, story time. We're changing things up, not permanently, just right now, it's winter, it's hard to make content. Who doesn't love a good story? Let's have a story time real quick here. So I'm minding my own business, as I do. And I'm driving away and I see my new neighbor inside his garage and he's grinding on the front of his Santa Fe. I don't think anything of it at first. I'm like, oh, you know, well, somebody's working on the vehicle, cool. Then I get back or I get to my destination and I start thinking to myself, what is he grinding on the front of a Santa Fe? Really gets me curious. So we exchange numbers. So I text them, I'm like, hey neighbor, what are you working on? I like cars too, I'm a car enthusiast. He's like, oh, I had some rock chips on the front of my Santa Fe. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. But then I think about it. What's he doing with the grinder on the front of a Santa Fe with rock chips? I'll show you what he did. And, uh, you know, some people, you, you just don't know. Some people are do-it-yourselfers. You know, I've done lots of stuff too that I didn't know how to do and made a mess. So we're gonna check it out. This video today is about fixing my neighbor's SUV, making it look nice. Uh, it's his workhorse and uh, I just wanna do so something for him. I like doing things for people and I feel like this is a, a great thing to do for somebody. We're gonna do this right in my garage today. I'm gonna show you guys uh, what we're doing, what we're up against, we're gonna do before and after, and uh, go from there. Let's check it out. All right, guys, as you can see, this is kind of what we're up against. The color is a little bit off. I'll get the camera closer. I'll show you guys some of kind of what we're looking at here, what we're working with. But actually, one thing Dan didn't notice, and I pointed out to him this morning, is the hood is actually a completely different color. Actually, the gapping is off. Let me try and line it up a little bit better. But even the hoods are off different colors, right? So we're gonna end up spraying this entire hood for him. So he just did this work probably less than two months ago, and you can already see the rust is starting to come back. I have not looked underneath here yet to see what we're up against. But you can see there's some rock chips up here, right? There's several of them everywhere that are starting to rust. We're gonna refinish this hood. I'm not sure if he sanded this or what happened there, but the color is definitely off a little bit there. So we're gonna get this all fixed up for him. What you're gonna end up seeing is I'm probably gonna hit this with something heavy, like a 180 or something like that. I'll end up doing this up here a little bit less, maybe a 320. All these little rock chips I'm gonna grind out. I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of a rust converter. And then I may put a little body filler in there, you know? We're gonna take this down with some 180. You can see the grinding marks here, grinding marks here, over here. So we're gonna end up filling all this with some high build afterward. Now to give you guys an idea of what we're gonna do, uh, obviously first I'm gonna protect the rest of the vehicle. I'm gonna drape some painter's plastic over everything that I'm not working on. I'm gonna start with, I think something fairly heavy, like some 180, and I'm gonna start feathering all of this back and see what we're working with underneath. And then I'll probably end up going and I'll put in light body filler and anything really deep like this stuff that just does not, it's not gonna get feathered back. It's too deep into the steel. Let's get cruising. <laughs> Okay guys, let's uh, let's take a second here. Very important, make sure you're always wearing your PPE. That's personal protective equipment. You're working with chemicals. Look how brown that mask is from the dust. You'd be inhaling that. Now, you probably don't need an N95 mask, but maybe overkill. Hearing protection, always very important. Oh, why am I yelling right now? I didn't even realize. I was gonna go with a 180. I went with an 80 grit. Take everything down. I did use the angle grinder. And then I ended up using uh, some rust converter. Now, this doesn't stop rust. The only way to stop rust is to cut it out, and even that doesn't work amazing. But rust converter slows it down. Essentially what it does is it gives the surface or whatever you're applying something to bite onto. I'm going to apply a little bit of uh, body filler to some of the really low spots. There's some extremely low ones over there. There's a couple up here. And then I'm gonna sand this whole hood. I'm probably gonna do it in a 180. So this was 80 grit. I'm probably gonna do it in a 180. And then I'm gonna come back and do the whole thing in a 320. And then uh, we'll take a break there and see how we're looking. I'd like to get this thing in primer so it can cure over overnight. Tomorrow we can sand it. We'll end up sanding and probably a four and then a six hundred and then we're going to paint and it's going to look like a new vehicle. We're going to give it back to Dan the man. And he's going to be pumped. So uh, let's get this done. Okay guys, we have reached the next point in our project. So next we're gonna add a little bit of spot putty. So we're going to mix it up. Don't flop it over on itself like this and get air inside of it, don't do that. 
stir it. And now you don't want a lot of this because there is no structural integrity to it. You can go around and you can feel where all your low spots are, just like that. You don't need a lot of it. We're gonna be sanding most of it off anyway. We're gonna fill all the low spots. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes now. You can tell it's fairly cured. It's not tacky and uh, you know, it's got a hard touch to it. I did go around with a plastic razor blade and scrape off some of the bigger clumps in places. Now we're going to use our orbital sander and we're gonna hit this with 180 grit. I sanded it with uh, 80, then 180, then 320. I put the high build epoxy primer down. Uh, it is direct to metal, it's got an etch in it. Tomorrow we're gonna come back, we're gonna hit this with 400 grit and then 600 grit. We're gonna lay some paint down. It's day two, it's early in the morning. Primer cured beautifully last night. Everything's looking nice and flat. We're gonna end up hitting this with a 400 and then a 600. Make sure it's nice and level and ready for the paint. A couple things to note. I did spray this yesterday with a, what's called a HLVP. It's a high volume, low pressure paint gun. I was running it at 26 PSI and I had a 1.8 tip on it. Now you don't need one of those. Now you could go to a lot of paint mixing stores, auto body supplies, and they custom mix these for you in an aerosol can. Um, it just costs a lot more. Now these guns are relatively inexpensive. So this one, for example, probably about 50 or $60 about 10 years ago. Anyway. We're gonna get cruising here. We're gonna get some sanding done. Like I say, we're gonna hit this in a 400 grit. Then we're gonna hit it in a 600 grit. And then we're gonna spray the base coat down. We're gonna let that cure for probably like 10, 15 minutes. It doesn't take long. And then we will hit it with the clear coat. Our paint base coat is gonna be a 50-50 uh, ratio of base coat and reducer. You do not need a hardener in it. We're gonna spray that on. We're gonna probably do a mist coat and then a heavy coat and a mist coat, something like that. After that sits for about 45 minutes and uh, dries up pretty good, it cures. We're gonna hit it with the clear coat. That's where things get tricky. We're going to be mixing that with reducer and hardener at a two to one to one ratio. Again, with a one three tip, 26 PSI and the tip from the gun. Well, and that anyway gets us in the right direction, I guess. It's pretty good, it's not my best work, but uh, we'll take this plastic off here tomorrow and we'll see how close we match it again. Okay guys, it's the next day. I've got everything cured here. It's nice and dry. There's a couple little dust specks, but we can wet sand that out. Otherwise it looks really good. Let's get the plastic off and see how the color matches up. Well guys, it's not bad, it's not bad. I'm happy with that, that's an improvement. Color is pretty dang close. Like if you were to blend it, it would be spot on. Anyway, that's it guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, we'll check out the next one.